Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I wanted to speak on how nothing is impossible with Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And uh, right now, you know, uh, we're living behind enemy's lines. Uh, you know, we're here in captivity where we've been scattered, you know, for our disobedience. But the Lord has awakened us for a great, great purpose in these latter days. A small remnant is going to be delivered. OK, and now that we're in the uh, final stages of prophecy before the Lord works the mighty work, you know, a, um, a big cloud of doubt. All right, you can feel it is is hopping on particular Israelites. Okay. Um now when the Bible is full of miracles, okay, if you say you believe in this book, you you all you have to believe wholeheartedly in the miracles, all right? The Bible is full of stories where you know the impossible happened at the right time. Okay, the, the Lord took particular of our forefathers and foremothers, all right, and put them in particular positions to where it didn't seem as if there was a way out, and then a miracle happened. Okay, you can read about uh, Elijah, Elisha, there was all, all sorts of miracles. Moses, okay, uh, Yahawashai, okay, there was the, the, the Bible is, is full of, of, uh, Stories where things seem impossible and he comes through, all right, to those who are, are, are uh, faithful unto him, to those who, who wholeheartedly believe, okay? They're going to be put in situations where it seems as though no victory can come because we, we live in this system and believe it or not, Esau, to a lot of Israelites, is God. Okay, to a lot of you Israelites out there, the fact that you have to go to his store to get food, all right, which you can grow your own food, but the mass majority of us, come on, we're, we're going to go to the market to get foods, okay? Uh, uh, the, the, the houses or apartments we live in, who owns those at the end of the day, okay? Even if it's being rented out to you by a, uh, a Moabite or an Elamite, who, who owns, who, who's hands was the earth given into in these latter days esau edom he's the ruler of this uh beast system that we're currently um living in and the fact that you have to go to him for your water your 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 uh your job okay a lot of you in your mind it's heavily embedded that he's god all right so when he starts to threaten the little benefits you have within this system, you forget that the Heavenly Father created water. Water does not belong to Esau. Okay, now Esau is sitting here telling you that you're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to shop. You're not going to be able to have this. But the Lord did not say that for the elect. Okay, this dude is not the most high. Okay, he didn't create, he, he didn't create, a, a, you know, a, a food. Now, he does have GMO foods, okay? He has uh, contaminated the water and all of that. But overall, the Heavenly Father, all right, is the possessor of this earth in his fullness through his only begotten Son, all right? Let me, as a matter of fact, I believe there's a scripture that, that, that says that, okay? And you can't forget that Esau was only lended the earth. He was given this power for prophecy to be fulfilled, just like Pharaoh. Okay, so while he's sitting here telling you what you're not going to be able to have, what you're not going to be able to do, all right, that's only in his eyes. Okay, he's not the most high. The scriptures say, my servant shall eat. Right? So if you go into this Jacob's trouble with the mindset that Esau is actually God, then he'll be able to scare you into submission. Okay, he's not God. And that's why you have to tap into the scriptures 
And you have to fully believe. If you don't fully believe in those miracles, like there was a point where there wasn't enough oil, and, and I believe it was Elisha, he went to the woman's house and, she, and, and was able to, a miracle happened where oil came innumerable to where they didn't even have enough bottles to put the oil in. Okay? There was a point where I believe uh, at that, either Elisha or Elijah, um, you know, a, a, you know, a lady's son was dead. I believe it was Elijah. You know, he breathed breath into him. Okay, and, and he and he raised up, he came back to life. Okay, there was a time where our forefathers ate, accidentally ate a poison plant. But what did the heavenly Father do? He allowed the plant to become edible. All right, and it didn't it didn't kill him. It didn't you know defile the the the, the dish that they had created and made. All right. There, there's various, you know, the Maccabees, man. There, there's times where, you know, it was only maybe 400 of our people. And then the, the heathen come with their sword and their thousands upon thousands. And the Lord worked a work, man. The, the Bible was full of these types of stories. How And that's how it's going to be for the elect, the remnant. Now, let me see fullness. Let me type in something real quick. Yep, Psalms 24 and 1. The earth is Yahweh's, and the fullness thereof, the world that they dwell therein. Okay? So the earth is Yahweh by Shem Shai's, but according to prophecy, it has been given into the hand of the wicked for the purpose of what? Prophecy. Now, Isaac blessed Esau with the fatness of the earth. Okay? It's not his earth. Okay? Even within his rulership, he still has to go to the source. He still has to go to what is. Okay, when you look at things like silicone, a lot of the elements and, and chemicals and, and things that he uses for evil, he still has to go to the creator for those things. All right? Keep that in mind. Okay, this man, <laughs> he, 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 now he, you know, like I said, he does through his system he's able to create you know water but he didn't make water so the lord if he wants you to have water you're gonna have water if the lord wants you to have food you're gonna have food if the lord wants you to have a place to lay your head even though it may not be as comfortable as what you have you're gonna have a place to lay your head see a lot of you are creating these uh what if situations and narratives in your mind based on Esau's fear tactics and you're allowing those fear tactics and that faithless voice in the back of your head to 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 lure you and this is for whoever it's for all right because I know how the mind works because you, you don't think we deal with those what ifs and those thoughts we automatically rebuke it because we you're in the flesh you're gonna have these doubts all right but we're here to push life. We're here to push what is above what if, because what if will scare you because you can what if your way or, 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 or you could, you know, follow this what if mentality and then do something to anger the Lord, not knowing that a blessing, if you had remained faithful 20 more minutes, a blessing was around the corner for your ass, man. That's how the Lord operates. He wants to see that you fully believe and he's going to put you to that point and every all of us have our own story all right there's going to be certain things you're going to have to go through as a believer on your own now of course the men of the lord can offer advice on particular things but there's particular things that the heavenly father has set up for you to go through for your particular story and no one can go through that with you now yeah i wish i went through that remember he was you know he was uh, uh, getting ready to be crucified. He wanted the, the, the disciples to stay awake with him and they fell asleep. He got mad, you know, he, he rebuked them. But really, the moral of the story was that that was for him. He had to go through that moment. So there's going to be particular things each of us are going to have to go through. Okay, some more than others, some less, whatever. All of us have a story 
Every member of the elect story is already written out. Whatever trials and tribulations you're going to go through, your sins, everything is already all is already written. We just have to complete the task as we're in this flesh and have received the Holy Spirit. But remember, man, the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. This earth is not Esau's. You see, our people. Let me get this real quick. Hosea. Don't be in this spirit. Hosea, the second chapter. One second here. Hosea, the second chapter. And the fourth verse. I will not have mercy upon her children, for they are the children of whoredom. Speaking of Israel. Okay, we're supposed to be married unto the Lord, but we, what do we do? We play the harlot with these different philosophies which are likened to many lovers. Now, it says, for their mother hath played the harlot, she that conceived them, or forefathers basically, okay, have done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread and my water and my wool and my flax and my oil and my drink, okay? So a lot of our people, since, you know, we've been marinating here in Babylon for thus long. Now it's time for Babylon to go, which means what? You're going to be faced with a, a loss. This place is getting ready to fall. Now, let's say you go along with the get along. I was just looking at this article with this NFL player. All right. Fully activated. OK. Got blood clots. Now his ass can't play for the rest of the season. OK. Now, imagine you make these decisions to go along to get along and jab up and, and, and then your job shuts down. How how much of a fool will you seem to will you look like in the eyes of the Lord that you didn't just wait, that you didn't have faith? And these other Israelite groups don't want to tell you this because why they love this world and, and, and Esau is ultimately they have no king but Caesar. They, what Esau tells them to say and not say dictates uh, uh, their doctrine to a sense. They've compromised. Okay, they can't talk about particular things. Okay? Their end all be all for you Israelites is based upon this world. They're not preparing you to make decisions that's going to lead to the kingdom because great faith leads to great miracles. Okay? And that's what the elect are, are prepared for. We're, we're being we were we're being prepared to step out and lean upon the Lord fully so that a miracle can be worked. Our expectation is not to starve to death. Our expectation is not to just rot away in some damn camp somewhere. Now, some of us are going to be taken as written. But even there, you, you got to keep your integrity. And it's going to be uh, it's go in the flesh. You your heart going to be beaten. All right. But we have to remember to not be offended by prophecy and that's the fight in the flesh because you become comfortable here in babylon okay but now babylon gotta go but there's a process to babylon falling okay and esau is getting ready to do exactly what the scripture said he was gonna do so now that he's doing it you can't lose faith this is the time to praise the lord more and Thank him for even getting you to this point and waking you out of the dead state. You have to be appreciative and show the Lord you appreciate it, even though you don't know what you're walking into. Don't doubt Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai, man. Don't doubt, man. Don't doubt the power of Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai to take care of you. It was it was the most high the whole time anyway. The reason you had a job, the reason you you ate, you had water, you was able to have some a toilet paper to wipe your ass. All of that came from the Lord. He 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 raised up Babylon, and he's gonna take it down. So you gonna make a decision based upon Babylon, and 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 your comfort within it, knowing what the heavenly Father feels about this place. No. 
That's not what the remnant are going to do, man. So, what did, what did our forefathers do? They looked at the heathen and the captivities that they were in as their, as their gods because what? They gave the, they got the bread, the water, the wool. You're able to go to the mall. You know, you, you're able to go to the movies. All right, you're able to go get a, a, a big-ass bottle of contaminated wine. Okay, for $9. I stopped buying that cheap-ass wine, man. <laughs> Brothers in the Bay Area put you up on game on that. It says, uh, so let me read it again. For their mother have played the harlot. She that conceived them have done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers. Now, hey, you, you, you do what you can within this captivity. All right, sometimes things are said amongst men of the Lord that may not apply to you you may question you may be like well am i wicked because i buy big ass bottles of nine dollar one hey man you, you do what you gotta do until we get the hell up out of here man okay there's gonna be there's things that men of the lord say that don't apply to you personally like you may hear a brother talking about you know uh you know uh the women if it don't apply to you and your situation and your relationship hey man hey just take it for what it is don't get emotional all right all things ain't for everybody you know, and sometimes we speak as men, but it says, uh, that give me my bread, my water, my wool, my, my flax, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up the, the, the way of thy thorns and make a wall that she, that she shall not find her past. Now, what the hell you think is going to happen if you consent? The scriptures say those that consent shall be had in derision. The Lord knows what you need. Okay, but if you consent, you're going to be had in derision. So the Lord is going to make a wall. <laughs> Let's read it in NLT. For this reason, I will fence her in with thorn bushes and will block her paths with the wall to make her lose her way. So you're going to be through. And she shall follow after her lovers, but sh but she shall not overtake them. Okay, because you think you believe and you're able to. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna just do what he said do for this time, and then, you know, after that, nah, man. She shall seek them, but shall not find them, because they're not gonna be there to help you. Then shall she say, "I will go and return to my first husband, for it was better than it was." All right, for for then it was better than it was uh, than than with me now, because you find out that these this this state in your. The people who have you and cat, they don't love you. Everything that they're telling you to do and offering you is against you. It's against your power. Right? For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiplied her, applied her silver and gold, which they're prepared for by all, man. And you rather you ready to give it all up for a whole nother guy, man. Therefore will I return and take away my corn and the time thereof and my wine and the season thereof and will recover my wool and my flax given to her to cover her nakedness, man. So going back to Zechariah, the eighth chapter, which, you know, the uh, elder brother Barak sent me this, um, which prompted this lesson. I'm just rolling in spirit take me a quick walk clear my head because it's so much going on you know but you know call halal yahal bashim shah either way because none of us deserve and none of us you know looking at what we've been through we should be out of there man all of them damn honey buns and kool-aid and chemicals that we you know we should be out of there but we overcame it <laughs> all right zechariah eight and six Thus said the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, and we're that remnant, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, said the Lord of hosts. Now, I'm going to read this in the NLT. Now, the, the King James is the best as far as translation. We only read this because sometimes it brings more out of the scriptures, all right, for the listener. We are not at all, not at all saying that the NLT, you know, now some brothers buy the Bible, you know. Now, if you spiritually discern, because sometimes you'll read it, like when you go to when it talks about the mark, it'll say 
on the hand. You know, you got to know when you if you're going to, you know, step in this arena, you know, you got to know to always refer back to the King James and then ultimately the Greek and the Hebrew. It's very important to know a little Greek. All right. And Hebrew. All right. Or Hebrew and Greek, because Hebrew is the, 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 the greater. The Greek is the lesser. Everything stems from the Hebrew alphabet and language. The Alaf Bath, all right, Alpha Bath, that word alphabet itself stems from uh, uh, Hebrew. Alaf is the first word in the uh, the, the Hebrew and, and Bath, all right? But anyway, and the alphabet of the, the when you read our alphabet, it, it's a meaning to every, it's just like here, it's just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> now, when you read the Greek, the, the the Hebrew characters, it actually tells a story. Each each letter has a meaning. You know, I've been meaning to go through my name, and, and you can go through your specific name in the Hebrew and put each character together and see what story it tells, you know? It's a very beautiful language, man. We just got to get the hell up out of here, man. Anyway. Let's see here. Zechariah 8. I'm reading in the NLT 6. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. All right. The Lord of hosts. Host means heavens. All this may seem impossible to you now. <laughs> and, it, and it does seem impossible. How are we going to get out of this situation? The only way is a miracle. So if you don't believe in miracles, if you don't believe that a miracle is coming, if you don't believe in what's written here, then you, you may as well just go and submit to the beast because that's your God. Okay? He, he, you've been living under him so long, you really think he's God and his threats and all of what he's telling you he's going to do and what you ain't going to be able to do is, 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 is reality. The Lord can set you up nice, man. Okay? The big, juiced up heathen all <laughs> going to the store. Here, here, sir. Hey, stuff like that been happening to brother. There's all types of stuff been happening as clues. If you if you paying attention, the Lord is going to take care of us. Brothers going places and people just blessing them with stuff. Stuff happening where you thought you was out of there. The Lord's been blessing us this far. What the hell you think he going to do going forward? All this may seem impossible to you now. A small remnant of God's people. All right, because, we, you know, but is it impossible for me, says the Lord of the heavens armies? No, it's not impossible, man. OK, uh, uh, let's type that in. Impossible. I forget where the scripture is. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. OK. M Matthew 17 and 20 and Yahweh shall said unto them because of your unbelief verily I say unto you if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you do you think you can move a mountain absolutely we can remove we can move mountains we're moving mountains America is a mountain it's being moved at this word okay Matthew 19 and 26, but Yahweh shall be held them and said unto them with men, this is impossible. Okay. But with God, all things are possible. See, when you're looking at this perspective from the flesh, it does seem impossible. All right. Just like David with Goliath seemed impossible. Okay. But you, you forget that afflicted and poor people for with God shall nothing be impossible. The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Okay. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them of them that diligently seek him. And that's what you all are doing. If you're watching these videos, if you're doing videos, if you're praying to the Lord, that's a form of diligently seeking him. If you're changing your ways. If you if you putting off the flesh, not being a nigga, okay, re, 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 you're changing your mind, okay, 
Salvation starts in the mind of the elect. Circumcising the foreskin of your minds, man. Cutting off that mess. Submitting to his will. Not being proud. Not getting overly emotional when you don't understand things and making rash decisions, being rash with your mouth. You cut all of that out. And he'll see hey, that one is diligently seeking me. You sign and crying at the abomination. You don't think the Lord sees that? You're going to re get a reward for that. That's what the, the whole story is based upon, a reward being given unto those who diligently seek him. And is that not what we're doing? Absolutely, that's what we're doing. Okay. Zechariah, verse 8 and 7. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. Okay. And they're going to be an afflicted and poor people, man. Real quick, the, the book of Zephaniah. Okay, so the, it's written for us. To, it, it's written to look impossible, man. Zephaniah 3 and 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. Okay. The, the remnant. That's what this is talking about. Okay. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth because they're justified for they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid okay so this is where we are that afflicted and poor people all right have are, we've done our part and we got a little bit more to go but a miracle comes along with this sacrifice man you should be excited it's like you knew, you know, when you knew you did bad at school. Okay, when I did bad at school when I was young, you know, I may get home and be able to butter up my mom. But when my dad came home, he had a jerry curl back then. You know, I, I, I was like, let me just get this ass whooping out of the way. Well, shit, you know what? My mom whooped my ass more than he did. <laughs> All right. The women gave the majority of the ass whoopings in, in my family. All right. But it's just like when you know you're going to get, you know, let's get it out of the way so I can go ahead and play and chill and, you know, get my, you know. And, 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 and man, hey, man, it ain't going to be that bad, man. We're going to be all right. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be challenging. All right. But but here it is. Brothers have been prophesying on the street corners for years, man. Did you ever think that you could do something like this? Imagine. Before you, a year before you, two years before you came into the truth, somebody told you, you're going to go out on the street corner and preach every week. <laughs> All right. Until the end, you'd be like, no, that's impossible. There's, there's, I mean, you know, outside of brushing your teeth, taking a shower, some, sometimes Jake take days off from doing that. All right. But every day, you know. Every day, you mean to tell me I'm going to, every day I'm going to be engulfed in this word. Every week I'm going to go out and preach. You wouldn't have thought that was possible, but with the most high it's possible. See, and, and you've done it. There's particular things. A lot of you eating shrimp years ago, you, you, you could never see yourself without eating shrimp or pork or whatever the hell abomination you used to eat. Jake, some, some of you used to eat rabbit, rabbit dumplings. You. You man, these these the best goddamn rabbit dumplings, man. I'm eat this all my life. You never thought that you could stop doing some of the wicked practices you were doing. But with with the Most High, it's possible. And I will bring them, verse eight, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, in truth and in righteousness. Therefore. Thus saith the Lord, let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days, before he sets up the miracle, before he gets up out, up out of here, the words by the mouth of the prophets, okay? <laughs> man, let your hands be strong, man, 
Okay? Constantly speak life, man. Everybody in the world, you notice everything they, they talk about is death. All everything, the, the, the Esau's, the end all be all of what they can and can't do. Oh, he said you ain't gonna be able to do this. You gotta do that. If he said you ain't gonna have this, you, you how you gonna do this? How you gonna do it? Nobody has no faith. And these are all Christians. These big ass, your know, big ass family members or friends, they, you know, you talk to them, and none of them are, are bringing up the Lord no more. You didn't been in church. I'm talking about people who've been in church fifty plus years. You talk to them. Their whole conversation and expectation is is death. And I got a lesson I got to do on that. Hey, the expectation of the righteous is life. As a matter of fact. Man, Psalms 9, 9 and 18, for the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. See that? Here we go. Proverbs 10 and 28, for the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. There you go. This is what the Proverbs 11 and 23, the desire of the righteous is only good. But the expectation of the wicked is wrath, man. And it's going to be hard to listen to these niggas going forward, man. People who's, you know, you know, oh, 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 what are we going to do? How, how, you know, now don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. You're going to have particular believers who get weak. But the scriptures say ye that are strong, you, you bear the, the infirmities of the weak and you, you restore them in meekness, man. But when you, if you start getting weak to the point where you, cursing the lord and you know you you, you, you start saying you're gonna do it you know hey man hey well you you do what you do i'm gonna follow you how about shimiao shah because ultimately you all gonna do <laughs> hey whatever the lord set you up to do if the lord set you up to come this far and submit to e and hey that you know i pray that's not my flight you know i pray that i stay and remain faithful man Okay, you got to challenge yourself in the spirit, man. Okay, but the desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Why? Because they don't know the prophecies. You heard and understand the prophecies. So what's your expectation? The Lord didn't allow, the Babylon ain't going to be here forever. The way that these people are going, look, they so many people ain't taking this thing a lot of these companies are going to fail. Now here it is, you need the workers, but they but but they but they but they're treating the workers like shit with this thing basically you got to do this now. I'm trying to figure out a way to say it. <laughs> All right. You know E. But anyway, they're treating the workers like shit. Now if everybody just up and 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 left Hey, there, there's a landlord because people can't pay their rent. He can't, you know, fulfill his his duties and pay his uh, mortgage. So he's through. So this system is getting ready to collapse. And that's what they want. They want everybody at the end of the day on their knees saying, give me whatever. I'll do whatever I have to do to, re, re, to have some form of life as if he's God. That's what he's trying to do. And we're good. So, anyway, let me just get back to the scripture, man. I'll do a, uh, I'll do a bit shoot video and say fully what I want to say, you know. Um, which that's another reason we got to get the hell up out of here. We grown, all right, grown as hell, man. We're grown as hell, and we got to sit there and tiptoe around what we saying. But when you read the New Testament. It was coded because hey, they were at the threat of imminent death preaching that message. So a lot of those the, the, those letters were coded. The book of Revelation was coded for us to receive it in the spirit in these latter days because to preach Yahweh in ancient Rome at that time they were on the scene 
hey, you were you were, you were pretty much putting yourself at the threat of imminent death. Well, we're we're coming into those times now. They're getting ready to outlaw the Bible. They're getting ready to outlaw the promoting of anything godlike, prayer, herbs, fat, all of that. It's getting ready to be outlawed to even speak on. And you go tell Israel it's okay to follow that. A system that is preparing to totally X out the Messiah, the Most High, and the Messiah. You're going to tell Israel it's okay to do that. But anyway, Zechariah 8. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days the words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid, that the temple might be built. Okay, and at that time, there was a uh, the rebuilding of the temple, but he's speaking of this time because a spiritual temple is being built. Okay, and Zerubbabel has laid that foundation, King David, man. For before these days, there was no hire for men. Uh oh. So before these days, before the kingdom comes, this is what you're going to be faced with. There ain't going to be no hire for men. No hire for beast. The farming industry is going to be messed up. The circus is going to be shut down. Okay. No hire for man, no hire for beast. Okay. There was, neither was there peace to him that went in or came out because of the affliction. For I am set all men, every one against his neighbor. And this has to happen in order for prophecy Okay, uh, 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 came to pass, man. All right. So before this temple is complete, all right, it's not going to be any, any it's, it's going to get bad. All right. It's going to get bad. Either way it goes, it's going to get bad. So you may as well go through Babylon falling, trust leaning on the Lord, then Babylon falling and leaning on Babylon. How does that sound? How is your decision making based upon Esau? And his 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 uh, uh, fear in him when the Lord created Esau. But now. Will I return unto the residue of this people as in the former days, said the Lord, and he's putting he's dealing with us now, man. It's the remnant, man. The residue is the remnant. For they shall feed and be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruit. The ground shall give her increase. The heaven shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of his people to possess all these things, man. And it shall come to pass as you are a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, northern and southern kingdom. Or southern and northern kingdom. So will I save you and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. Okay. Fear not. Let's look up that word fear in the Hebrew. Yep, you're raw. To fear, revere, to be afraid. Okay, do you revere Esau? Do you reveal, revere Yahweh Bashim Shai? Reverence, honor, respect. Okay, and he's telling you to fear not this world, fear not the rules of this world, fear not their hard speeches. Okay, they only have control over flesh carnal things all right they don't have control over the spirit they want it but they ain't gonna get it man it says to, to be an astonishment and in awe and that's what the majority of our people are doing they're wondering after the beast okay you'll be all right you ain't the first or the last that's gonna be faced with something in this truth don't be like those wicked Israelites in the wilderness. Yes, detaching from Egypt came with loss, right? But guess where you were on your way to? You're supposed to get to the promised land, but a three, two to three week trip took 40 years because of un disobedience and unbelief. This is Revelation 13 and... Eight, and all that dwell up on the earth shall worship him, 
Worship who? Esau. So what are you going to do? You go bow to the image of the beast because this system is the end all be all of your expectation. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? The Lord told us not to worry about those things. Right? That's a carnal man's argument. And it's going to play on the last way Johanna said. What, what, how are we going to eat if we don't take what he say? Take. Well, go. If, hey, if you want to hear that message, go to them. And see where it leads you. You didn't did all of this bent over for this man in the, in the spiritual sense to keep your, jo your job. And, and, and this is my thing. It ain't going to just be one uh, 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 juice. He going to give you a blue juice, a red juice, all the booster juice, all types. And then he going to say, well, shit, since it ain't working and you didn't already, wandle, uh, 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 you know, window down this road. Well, shit, here. Karagba. Take them here. Mark up. Then you'll be good for good. We don't have to do this anymore. I know you're tired of getting these. You know, you didn't took. Here it is. You're going to be in had eight to nine boost boost mobiles all right <laughs> after he told you first he told you you needed one and then it's two now you need boost mobile in french they got eight slots for boost mobiles so here it is you you sit there and do all of this only to get to the point where all right well we got something better and this should be the final one and that's going to be salvation fully on the left-hand side from the hell he created. So all the people up on the earth are going to worship this man. All right, but it's those whose names are not written in the book of life. All right, and, and the men, women, and children whom the Lord slated to deliver, starting with the first fruits under Yahweh, shot at 144. Okay, that's the, the, those, the, those are the people whose names are written in the book of life. Women, yes, women. Your name, there's women's names that are written in the book of life, written to be delivered out of these times. W women are a part of the remnant. There's going to be more women delivered than men. That's just the nature of things. Okay, so you women, you may be in a situation where you're like, well, how, what the hell am I going to do? I full, I wholeheartedly believe, but you better not make no damn stupid decision thinking, well, I'm going to follow Esau just for this amount of time then i jump back and see what follow what they were saying well if you hey if you're gonna do that don't stop just stop listening okay and the lord's gonna take care of you women that are that are that that ultimately who he, that were chosen don't get me wrong there's gonna be a lot of women that's died there's gonna be more women that die than men <laughs> too but you women are gonna be all right look we're the woman of the most high what are we doing? We're clinging on to our power. Okay? So if you hey cling, get you a man of the Lord, if you hey, if, if 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 possible. If you got one, cling on to him. Okay? If if not, the Lord knows how to he, he he'll do what he got he, he'll do what he gotta do to deliver you, man. It's written already. So the last thing we should be doing at this point is worrying about how things look. We 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 uh we, we don't operate off of what we see. OK, we operate based off what is what's written, the vision. OK. So. I'm going to leave it there, man. Let's see here. And hopefully, you know, these these epistles, you know. Things seem, let me see, I believe it's in. Uh, Ephesians or Colossians. <laughs> Man, and two, this investment, you know, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither had it entered into the hearts of man things that God hath prepared for them who love him. So this, in, this is an investment, man. But, hey, this investment is going to hit. See, when you go and do what Esau says, do you invest in his plan? How do you think that's going to end up for you? The same as any other thing he planned for your ass ended up. 
through. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. Your job, your favorite shoes, okay? Your George Foreman grill, okay? Your favorite hamburger spot, okay? It's it's all temporal. We ain't taking Wingstop Ranch on the chariot, okay? We ain't taking none of this stuff. Your favorite taco spot, all of this was only temporal for us to get to the next level. Okay? So you got to let it go. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Woo! And that's what we're looking for, immortality. Okay? So... Hopefully, I were edified. Let me see if there's any more in that Zechariah. I believe I brought everything out. Man, I'll finish it off to verse 16 and 17. Uh, 13 and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen O house of Judah among the heathen and house of Israel so will I save you and ye shall be a blessing fear not but let your hands be strong for thus saith the Lord of hosts as I thought to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath saith the Lord of hosts and I repented not so again have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah fear ye not see Let's look up that word well. It's promise he gonna do well unto the remnant. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Yatab. Joyful. To be well placed. To be well for. To be well with. To go well with. To be pleasing to. You think the Lord gonna starve your ass to death? <laughs> After you didn't re repent it? You know, fought? You know, uh, uh, for the kingdom, prayed, fat, you know, did what you had to do. To make a thing good or to be right or beautiful. You're going to be all right, man. The Lord knows what you need. He knows your physical limitations. He knows your back bad. He know your side tooth gone. He know all of that. He know everything about us. He know we threw in this flesh. But that's where his power comes in at. And that's what it's all about. Fear ye not. He keeps saying, fear ye not. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man truth to his neighbor and execute judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against your neighbor and love no false oath. For these are the things that I hate, saith the Lord. And a lot of these leaders have made oaths to different gods and different government agencies, man. Well, that investment, okay, that investment is getting ready to to, de to show itself to be a horrible investment. So with that, hopefully I'll edify it on to the next. Shalom.